const is a new keyword which declares a variable as constant over time. We can use const to declare a variable, but unlike let and var, it must be immediately initialized with a value that can't be changed afterwards. If we try to declare it without initializing it, we get a syntax error. So if you look in the console, you can see that the syntax error is missing initializer in const declaration. But if we declare it, when we initialize it, everything is fine. But if we try to change it after we have declared and initialized it, we get a type error. So if you look in the console, we get the error assignment to constant variable. This is because a const variable isn't supposed to change over time. So we're not allowed to give it a different value later on. So we get an error, TMP is not defined, thrown from line seven, because const is block scoped. It only exists between the curly braces there and we're trying to print it on line seven. So it's giving us an error because it's block scoped. So variables created by let and var are mutable. All that mutable means is that it can change over time. So variables declared with let and var can change over time. Variables declared by const, however, are immutable. They don't change over time. And specifically, the const variable can't point to another thing later on. But there is one big pitfall with using const, however. When we say const variables are immutable, it only means that the variable always has to point to the same thing. It doesn't mean that the thing it points to can't change over time. For example, if the variable foo is a const that points to an object, we can't make foo point to another object later on. So if foo, points to an object and we try to make foo point to another object, we get the same error, assignment to constant variable. So it's not letting us change the thing that foo points to. But we can, however, mutate, make changes to the object foo points to, like so. So now if we just type foo prop is equal to moo, this works, you can, as you can see from the terminal, it's printing out an object with the property moo, with the value moo. So we can't change what foo points to, but we can change the thing that foo points to. Now this is really confusing for a lot of people, as it should be, we don't expect this behavior. When we use the word const, we, we kind of mean, hey, look, everything shouldn't change over time. So if we want the value of foo, the thing that foo points to, to be immutable, we have to freeze it using the object freeze function. When we freeze an object, we can't change it, we can't add properties to it, or change the values of properties, like so, so. So now we've frozen the object that foo points to. We've tried to add a property called prop, but then when we print out that property, we actually get the word undefined because by default, when you try and change the property of a frozen object, it just silently ignores it. It doesn't throw an error. So it lets us do things like change the property value of foo. This is fine, this is legal. It will just ignore all of our instructions. To force object.freeze to throw an error, we must be in use strict mode. So if we type at the top of our file, use strict. Now, when we rerun the file, we get the error, can't add property prop, object is not extensible. So in summary, const lets us declare variables which don't change over time, which are immutable. The important gotcha though with const is that the variable is immutable, but not the value, the thing the variable points to. That means that if we declare an object as const, 
confusingly, we can still change properties of the object later on. To solve this and make an object immutable, we use the object.freeze function, which together with the useStrict pram throws an error if we try to change the object later on.